right, it's about that time. We're gonna do that performance test on the motors. If you guys watch the channel, you know that I recently installed a jack plate. This is the Atlas Micro Jacker on this boat. I got two different motors. I'm gonna test the performance and see how they're doing. Apologize for all the airplane, all the air traffic noise. I am on Potomac River right next to Reagan National Airport, but I recently installed the jack plate to increase performance, more so on the electric motor. I have two motors, the electric e-propulsion Navy 6.0 and the Mercury 9.9. I installed the jack plate more to improve the performance of the Navy 6, specifically to get more speed out of it, but I don't wanna lose performance on the Mercury that I already had. I was getting up to 14 miles per hour at top speed, so I don't wanna get any lower than that. I'm gonna take a quick pause because this plane is flying over my head. That's one of the cool things about being out here on a Potomac River. Washington, D.C., I'm on the Virginia side right now. Of course, when you're testing the speed of your boat, there's a lot of different variables. One day you can get one speed, another day you can get another, and you just gotta account for the variables. So you got wind, you have current, which I do have. I'm gonna try to just weigh in the variables and see how this performs. First test will be for the Mercury motor. And right now everything looks great. Where I thought the jack plate would be completely submerged underwater, it's not totally submerged with that screw right there. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that, and I'm excited to actually see how this is going to work but i don't see any air bubbles right now you know i had to drill below the water line let me get underneath here under here is completely dry no water at all and one thing i noticed off the back is the motor to me is sitting lower than it normally did so i actually may be raising this up if you watch the video and if you haven't click the link at the top of the screen watch the full installation of this micro jacker onto this john boat so i'm gonna play around with this for a bit see what the chemistry is what works best for this jacker on this boat let's get it in guys all right i've got the wind blowing in my face so that might affect uh, my speed out here on the river i'll try to document this as best as i can guys with one hand on the motor one hand here up to eight miles per hour So I'll try to show you on my graph my speed real time. Ten seven. Eleven. So I just ran the motor for about two, three minutes straight. Uh, and I'm actually very, very happy with the results so far. Max speed was 12.4 miles per hour. And again, it varies what your speed is depending on a lot of different things. So for me to get 12.4 on a pretty windy day, I do have some mild chop in the water. It's pretty good. I know in calm waters, less wind, I can get to my normal speed of 14 miles per hour. So I am really good with that. I am gonna do some more tests. I'll, I'll do it off camera because I need two hands and I'm gonna adjust the height and the trim of the motor as I'm running the boat. So I'm gonna play with it. And that's how it is guys when you got your boat and your setup, you gotta play with it. Find that sweet spot with height of your motor, the trim, um, the tilt of your motor and all of that. And just account for you know your boat style as well. Are you running a V, a flat, a mod V and so on will all determine speed. I'm a little excited. I put a lot into this install. I'm gonna run it around a little bit more. I'm gonna turn off the camera and then get back to you, tell you what I did and see if there's any difference from what I already did. But 12.4 is good for a great start. So when I go back, I'll actually be going with the wind. We'll see what that does and I'll let you know. All right, let's do it. All right, I ran it back down the river going with the wind. Believe it or not, I got the same miles per hour. I was hovering about 12.5 miles per hour. But when I raised up the motor, maybe about four inches. I got to over 13 miles per hour, as you can see on the graph right there. 
so which was absolutely awesome so i can already see on this boat raising the motor will make a difference and that's key and i will play around with this and it'll vary on different bodies of water so right now guys i'm happy to say mission complete i didn't want to lose any speed i put a lot into this install and it feels really good to see it work and i'm glad i'm able to demo this for you guys so pretty good test for the mercury 99 let's test the e-propulsion what's up guys back at it again a week later going to test out this motor different conditions today a little bit windier we'll see how that plays out but woke up 30 something degrees today i'm back out here on the potomac river but a whole different location launching from riley's lock today i've never actually run this motor on the potomac river so today will be a different kind of test i normally reserve this for the reservoirs and lakes around town pretty excited to see how it does today not only with the new jacker installed but just on the river period so here's a look at everything up close and personal looking pretty good looking solid and again one of the main reasons why i installed this atlas micro jacker is for this motor right here prop sits way too low and I want to raise it up and try to see if I can make this a more efficient setup and increase the speed so let's see let's go all right that is sketchy I can't even pass through the middle hopefully this left channel is shallow enough for me today sometimes the water level drops but I got six feet looking good I can already see a really good amount of current out here. Wind is blowing, but we'll see how this all plays out. Water level looks pretty good, so I'm feeling good about that. It can get very shallow out here and really sketchy. So we got this wide open space right here. The dam is down that way, so I won't go too far down there. It's actually a lot windier than I anticipated, a lot windier than forecasted, but we're gonna give this a go anyway and see how she does. Uh, I would imagine this is about 12, 15 mile per hour winds and it's supposed to be under 10 today. So I strategically picked today so I could get the best results. But we're here, we're gonna get it done, let's go. All right, so, so far riding into the wind, definitely a reduction in speed. I was hovering around six, 6.2 miles per hour. When I head this way now, I'll be going with the wind. We're gonna try a couple different things. I'm playing with the height a little bit. I'll play, play with the trim of the motor and see if that makes a difference. I'm hopeful. I don't wanna get bummed out yet, guys. Let's go, let's keep this thing going. All right, we're up to 8.3, 8.4. We're going with the current. It is windy out here today. Those are the conditions. But regardless of that, top speed I saw today on this river was 8.7 miles per hour. And that is consistent with before I installed the jack plate. I did not lose speed and I'm very happy about that. I haven't lost speed, but I haven't gained speed either. I did play around with the tilt of the motor. It didn't seem to make much different tilting the motor up or down. Raising the motor up did help a little bit. So that's promising as well. And that's what I expected. I thought I was gonna be underperforming in these conditions, but with the high winds, I'm dealing with 15 mile per hour winds. Take a look at the American flag right now. You can see and get an idea of the type of winds that I'm dealing with. I mean, that flag is blowing, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video out for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of folks were curious to see and, they, and it was like, hey, we want to see how this thing performs. Even when the boat was sitting still with the motor off, I was drifting at one and a half miles per hour. So I'm dealing with conditions that I don't normally deal with when I'm running this motor. Again, I run this motor on reservoirs and lakes, much calmer conditions. But even with being out on the river, I have have not lost speed now i haven't gained speed either and that's one thing i want to see to make this whole thing worth it stay tuned to the channel i'm going to give updates on the performance of this boat with this micro jacker with the e-propulsion motor specifically and i'm going to be running this boat on the normal bodies of water to get a good one-to-one -one comparison pre-jack plate post jack plate and share it with you guys on this channel let me turn man i am just getting blown around guys this water is 
kicking and hopefully you guys can hear me with all this wind anyway guys don't forget subscribe to the channel for the future updates and other things going on for 2022 super excited about that leave me a like on this video i mean my hands are frozen 38 degrees today with wind but i got it done for you guys out there to see on the channel and don't forget also for all your tiny boat bill needs head to tbnation.net get five percent off with our promo code bbf5 hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got something out of it until we meet again we'll see you on the next video Thank you.